Hey guys, it's Mandy from this lovely path.wordpress.com in which I have not been blogging at all. So, um, I am a homeschool mom with four kids and um, live in eastern Idaho um, via Oregon. Um, and I was going to do my March Mama Book Club um, picks for everything that I read in March. And it wasn't a lot compared to what I normally read. We had guests for um, nearly two weeks out of the month of March. So I did not get any reading in really in the last couple weeks. Um, I It is like 3 o'clock here in the afternoon. This is how I woke up. I'm in my robe and my nightgown. And this is what my hair looked like when I slept and I have no makeup on. So, um, But I knew I needed to get this done. Uh, so, the books I read in March, I am trying to do a video, I'll be out in a minute, um, this one's kind of controversial, I read Unveiling Grace by Lynn Wilder, this is a book about a, um, Mormon family who left the LDS church, and as I've moved to a predominantly LDS area, um, and I had heard Lynn on um, a local station back when I lived in Oregon. Um, she would come on the local Christian station there. Um, and um, just a lot of wisdom. And I enjoy listening to her. Um, this is really interesting. It says the story of how we found our way out of the Mormon church. And she just kind of talks about... Um, discovering the real Jesus of the Bible and, and starting a relationship with him. And um, her entire family uh, left the Mormon church and are now um, Christians. So that was a very good, interesting read. Um, Sally Clarkson is one of my favorite um, nonfiction authors when it comes to homeschooling or um, just... Uh, she has parenting books and homeschooling books and a few just kind of lifestyle books. Um, her newest one is The Life-Giving Home um, that she wrote with her daughter, um, creating a place of belonging and becoming. And like all of Sally's books, this is super encouraging, super beautiful. Um, if you're the type of person who really likes to create an atmosphere of beauty and learning and peace, um, you know, this is not a homeschooling book, so you don't have to be a homeschooler, um, but it's got, <clears throat> so like part one, thinking about home, the chapters are titled, A Life-Giving Legacy Made for Home, A Symphony of Grace, Rhythms of Incarnation, um, and then they go, Seasons of the Home, and they go month by month, and so like each month has its own chapter. January is creating a framework for home of rhythms, routine, and rituals. And then February is a culture of love and growing lifelong relationships. March is the art of the ordinary, finding beauty in your own backyard. April is a heritage of faith, engaging with God's story. May, days to commemorate marching, marking growth with celebration. June is times of delight, creating a value for play. July is a heroic heritage, engaging with story and history. August is the story of us shaping and celebrating family culture. September is when seasons change, gathering in for home and soul. October, home is best, serving life within your walls. November, blessed and blessing, grace, gratitude, and generosity. December is the rhythm of celebration, seasons of rejoicing in family life. This is a beautiful book. Um, I really enjoyed it as I have every single book of hers I've ever read. So highly encourage that. Um, the only fiction I read this month, those are my two non-fictions, obviously. The only non-fiction, I mean, sorry, fiction I read this month was Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Um, I love this story. I'm a huge Charles Dickens fan. Um, I like most anything written in the 19th century from England. <laughs> so, um, and I just think his um, his books always have such a beautiful 
um, story of redemption or um, forgiveness of personal growth. Um, and so I absolutely loved this book as I, I believe I read it in high school, but I didn't read it. I mean, I didn't like really remember it well. I also like a lot of the um, uh, BBC has a version out <clears throat> in um, video, which is not, I mean, none of them are following the book truly, but um, uh, that's it's really well done. And if you Charles Dickens fan, if you've never taken the time to read Charles Dickens, it's not, it's not difficult. It's not a complicated read like I think some people believe it is. Um, a couple years ago we read um, um, what's it called? The Christmas one. Scrooge. I can't think of it. I can't even think of what it's called. Um, for book club. A Christmas Carol. Um, and, you know, that was a super fast one. Super fast read. And this is, you know, that's a pretty good sized book. And I'm a fast reader. Um, but it really didn't take a long time. It was about 540 pages. And, um, I mean, it was probably a week's worth of reading. So, very good book. Read Charles Dickens if you haven't. He's phenomenal. <clears throat> the book I am in the middle of that I kind of had started and put aside when we had company is for um, Back Home in Oregon, where I had begun a book club. Um, they are still continuing on without me. And um, I'm reading along for their April pick. So, and this is their April pick um, by Jean Au. Au? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Clan of the Cave Bear. I'm a about halfway through, so this is taking me into April, um, and I will save my opinion of it for my April book talk. And that's it. I really didn't read much. So today is a day of just being lazy now that all of our wonderful guests are gone, and I'm um, just hanging out and catching up on um, Periscope that I've missed, and um, my family is all out up branches that fell in the yard from a big windstorm we had. Right as I was starting my scope, my teenage son got mad at me. He found the mama bird had deserted. So I'm putting that on my nature table. Um, and I will be back at some point, hopefully, um, before I talk about my next book picks for April. At the end of the month, I hope to come back on and share with you guys my book of centuries for homeschooling um, that is a Charlotte Mason idea and Leah Bowden, Leah B. Bowden, B-O-D-E-N on um, catch.me has a scope on that which is where I got my idea um, and so I will be sharing that hopefully sometime in the next week or two and um, that is it so thank you guys for coming on and I will talk to you later.